loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. Tonight we're going to be doing a pick a card reading, which will be focusing on what you need to release and what is going to come into your life. This is a suggestion that came in from one of our tribe members, someone of the Bahati Vibe tribe. So thank you so much to you. I'm not sure if they are comfortable with me shouting them out but I did put it up on my Instagram and I asked everyone okay what is it that you guys want to hear next and the suggestions that came in were so amazing the word that just came through to me just now was fruitful I don't know why but it just felt like it gave to me so much so that being said tonight well tomorrow night is the Libra full moon so this is kind of inspired by the energy of the Libra full moon hopefully I'll be able to put the details up for you guys on what I see for that but in the meantime this reading will be timeless and it will serve you as far as what you need to release what you need to trust and what is going to come into your life so that being said let's go ahead and dive in I'm gonna give you a chance a moment to look at the card and choose what it is that you gravitate towards the, the timestamps are down below in the description box if you need it okay let's go ahead and get started for my group number one what you need to release we have four of cups that's four of pentacles actually <laughs> it's been a day queen of cups Nine of Cups, the King, the Cat, Call on Your Angels, Clear the Past, and Gentle Kindness. So the first thing that I'm seeing with this are the connection between the Queen of Cups and the deer because these two are so connected to being gentle being soft working with your intuition the next thing that stands out to me is the cat because this card is connected to independence and having healthy boundaries and the other thing too that i see and i feel is with the four of pentacles and with the cat four of pentacles is I'm not moving, this is where I'm at, this is my status quo because this is what serves me right now. The rest of the world, it doesn't matter what the rest of the world thinks. It doesn't matter what the rest of the world wants, it's what you want. The Queen of Cups, I want everyone to learn from her because as soft and as affectionate and nurturing and as giving as she is, she cannot be all of what she is if she doesn't have healthy boundaries because if she doesn't have healthy boundaries, her cups will turn, her cups will spill, and there will be an imbalance. What we'll see then is someone who is clingy, who needs confirmation from other people. We'll see someone who is giving and giving and giving and they end up being completely depleted, completely drained. And really what it is that I'm seeing right now is you learning how to have healthy boundaries and you giving up and you releasing your need to be there for everyone all the time, always. And I love the fact that the King card is here because this could represent a person who you really have a soft spot for that you just continue to give to them in order to make them, in order to help to make them be who it is that their potential, you know, could be. The reality is, is that a king, a person who is ready, a king, a person who is assertive, a person who knows what they want and who is prepared will do everything in their power they need to in order to create in order to build in order to be reliable if they are not ready there is you can't keep feeding and nurturing them into a man you can't keep feeding them into maturing and to developing and to moving forward the reality is is that there's something about them that they they don't want to do they don't want to do it for whatever reason they might really be content and that's the thing is that I want you guys to see this is that the nine of cups even though this card is the wish fulfilled and the four of pentacles here pentacles is earth energy it's very ground grounded nine of cups is I am satisfied and I am soothed with whatever it is that I'm getting whatever it is that I'm receiving why would I leave my status quo if I'm being babied if I'm being you know nurtured and you know um, the you know it's like a silver spoon in my in my mouth why would i want to do you know do anything more than or strive or move past this when this person is giving to me and nurturing me 
The reality is, is that this person, whoever this is, it could be a male or a female, they need to step into their own personal power all by themselves. And the reality is, is that you are enabling them. That is the truth. So the Queen of Cups, and I, I mean, I don't want to read anybody for the filth right now, but I'm going to at the same time, I guess. The Queen of Cups, sometimes I question when I see this card show up and I see people, you know, why I see people you know, pulling from her and get, gaining so much from her because it's like, you know what, what does she have to get from this? Like, what does she have? Why is she so generous with others to the point where she lacks so much within herself? Usually it's a feeling of, I need to be needed. I need someone to need me. I need someone to, you know, rely on me. Sometimes it's, okay, if I say no to them, they're going to be gone. If I say no to them, what is the punishment? What is the repercussions of me standing up for myself? What is the punishment if I do have a healthy boundary for myself? So that's what it is that I'm seeing right now is that the, this way, this lifestyle that it is that you've become accustomed that this lifestyle, this mindset that it is that you you've become accustomed to, or maybe enabling certain things in order to mature them and to grow them. You know, it's it's something that you've learned from your past. It's something that was set in you, ingrained in you since probably childhood. So to kind of break those boundaries and to establish healthy boundaries, that is so essential right now but it's 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 a lot to do all by yourself and this is why i see you having these cards of kind of like clearing your past and call, and call on your angels because and between you and i between you and i i was the queen of cups and i am the queen of cups now but for a long time i was i don't want to say the reverse aspect of her but i was learning how to become the healthier version of the queen of cups and having boundaries for people that it is that I love the most was one of the hardest things for me. And I could not have done it by myself. And I really relied, actually, I really relied on my angels and my guides to be like, okay, help me to affirm, like help me to establish self-protection, help me to know Help me, help me to have the voice to say no to someone or to something. Help me to not be there for everyone so that I can be there for myself. That's what it is that I'm seeing you releasing is this need to kind of be there for everyone all the time and for you to kind of put yourself into Goddess Vibes energy. That is essentially what it is that I'm actually seeing will give you, you know, success and fruitful I said that word at the beginning of this video, didn't I? But that's what I'm seeing will fruit for you. That's what I'm seeing will be abundance for you is if you, or bring abundance for you, if you actually step into, uh, honestly, and not like interestingly enough, the king mentality, which is a little bit more self-serving, a little bit more focused. The other thing is that this king card is connected to justice, which is law and effect. And basically, this is weighing what you've received, what it is that you've given, and then seeing if it is right and if it's fair. If you've been giving a lot of yourself or if you've been taking, the universe is going to, you know, fix that balance for you, whether you like it or not. I'm really seeing you right now learning how to step into your space, to have more boundaries, to learn justice, learn cause and effect, to learn how to say no so that you can give more. That being said, when you do that, that's when I'm seeing these blessings coming through for you. Number one, I'm seeing the card of visualize success. Is this going to focus? Probably not. Okay, just pretend like it's focused. <laughs> um, and it says, see yourself doing well in the situation. Have faith in the positive outcome. Open your heart to love with Jesus here. And then also priorities with King Solomon. So the thing that I'm seeing with this and that I'm getting from this is that if you actually pull yourself away from nurturing and feeding everyone else, you will actually have the ability to nurture and feed yourself and your love life, your career life, your abundance, your health. When you make yourself a priority and you stop you know, getting so caught up in everyone else's drama and everyone else's like needs, then your cup will fill again like every day your cup will fill more and more you will feel more creative you will feel more love you will feel more you know self-assurance more confident because you are not depleted all the time because you've given so much of yourself to everyone and everything when your energy and when your cup is filled then you can focus back on being creative but then also being able to manifest and take that energy that you're normally giving to everyone else and investing it into everyone else now you can give it to yourself and to build your brand to build your project or to attract new love in i don't see this as just romantic love but for a lot of you guys it will be romantic love but it this is about 
your heart. Your heart has a vision. Your heart has a purpose. And your priority is to make sure that it has a chance to manifest. You can't do that if your focus is on everyone else and everything else but yourself and what your heart has been calling you to do right now. That is why this card of visualized success is coming through because it's like, look, in order for you to visualize, you have to focus. You can't have the vision and you can't focus on that if you're focusing on everything else. So that's what it is that I'm seeing. That's what it is that you need to release and that is what you need to attract into your life. And I think that when you make yourself a priority, when you make your love a priority, when you make your heart a priority and when your cup is filled and when you make yourself a priority, that success, that love, that your heart's desire is actually going to manifest. And you're not only that, but you're going to be able to enjoy it because your cup is so fulfilled. You're going to be so happy so grateful and in a space where you have the energy to enjoy it versus you being depleted and exhausted do you know what i mean so that's what i'm seeing for my card number ones now for my card number twos what is that you're releasing i'm seeing the eight of cups the five of cups the eight of wands we have the wind fairy thoughts words and intellectual analysis We have the Earth Fairy, so there's a lot of fairy energy going on here. Physical health, grounding, and foundations. Ooh, look at this black girl vibes going on here. Yes, honey. Then we have sleep on it. Remember to breathe. Clear the path. And shield yourself. So the first thing that I'm seeing with this is almost similar to my card number ones, but it's different because this is, I'm actually seeing this as um, uh, mental. I'm actually seeing this as harsh energy that's in your brain, harsh voices, harsh toxic environment, anxiety, distractions that are going on around you. And you, and the reason why this is, is because I'm, Outside of the fact that we see remember to breathe and sleep on it, but um, five of cups and eight of wands. I mean, there's a lot of cards here that are showing me that you are in your head, very much in your head, very much in your thoughts, very much in lack mentality. This is anxiety. This is stress. This is tension. This is I don't know what the future hold for, holds for me. It's all of these thinking, thinking, thinking. Now, when I get the card of you know sleep on it, remember to breathe and clear the path. This reminds me 10,000% of what I actually use when it comes to manifesting and laws of attraction. Now, in order for me to manifest, in order for me to work my magic, and I feel like as I said that, everyone just kind of like leaned in and was like, oh, Jess is about to share her secrets. Now, and I am. So in order for me to manifest, we're working with mercury energy. Mercury rules the mind, our words and the things that it is that we, the things that it is that we um, write down and how we set intention and, and in order to manifest, that's mercury. But that is mercury when it's supported and strong. When mercury is not strong and when mercury is off balance, that's when the same ability to manifest can can think of all the things that could go wrong. Because their, the brain is working and being imaginative, It instead of using that creative, intelligent brain to think of w solutions or to trust, it actually thinks of, okay, I can think of, you know, um, I'm not gonna look at the solution, I'm gonna look at all of the problems and I'm gonna see that only. And that's essentially what it is that I'm seeing here. Now, the universe, circumstances, life might actually be guiding you right now to kind of take a step forward and to remove yourself out of a ne negative situation. But something about that is triggering anxiety. It's triggering worst case scenario thinking. And that's where it is that you need to ground. Now back to what it is that I'm what I was telling you about when it comes to manifestation is that I'm a Virgo and I'm ruled by Mercury. So when I'm good, I'm good. When I'm bad, I'm bad, honey, I'm bad. <laughs> and the one thing that I do for myself in order to flip that switch and to change my energy is I bring it to spirit, I bring it to my altar, I bring it to the divine, I bring it to my ancestors, my guides, and I say, look, this is, you know, help, help me. I'm derailing right now. Um, you know, I have to hit the restart button. This is what I need. 
can I can you work a miracle in my life and then you know what it is that I do I go to bed now this is not the first time that I've said this I've said this multiple times when it comes to manifestation there's something about that that does actually clear the path the reason why that is is that when your brain is actually more relaxed and when your brain is not doing the most and you're not forcing and trying to find a solution yourself you actually allow the universe your angels your guides and spirit the space to work a miracle on your behalf all you need to do is breathe all you need to do is ground and center yourself in order to reconnect back to that firm foundation now I'm actually thinking that before you take a leap now I know this sounds crazy but before you take a spontaneous leap out if you haven't if this is something that you're just like impulsively saying like I'm gonna walk away from this I really want to remind you to take a deep breath and get out of your head and allow spirit to kind of work and maneuver around the situation before you just completely abandon it outside of the fact that this shows very impulsive energy and this is what the cards are suggesting that you let go of and that you release even with this eight of cups and this eight of wands it's almost like I'm done I'm not fulfilled this isn't gonna happen I abandon this this you know I've done all I can do I'm walking away from this you know I, I abandon this idea you know it's almost like I really want you to kind of sleep on this this energy around you is too toxic right now for you to make an impulsive decision granted but at the time of me filming this there is the Libra full moon the full moons bring everything up to the surface emotions are heightened you know it is what it is and but Libra is actually you want to work with Libra energy because Libra will sit on the fence and kind of straddle it for a minute before they make their decision and that's essentially what is that I'm seeing for you and this is something that you've been in the works for a long time then I still want to see you you know allow a moment for your angels and your guides to clear the path for you I do not think that this is something that you need to do by yourself I think if anything you need to shield yourself in the form of let your angels your guides right now come in and surround you before you make or before any movement happens and it's really important that you are protected that's what's going to help to clear the path in the meantime all you need to do is be easy you need to trust you need to have faith and let your angels and your guides do whatever it is that they're going to do if you do take that pause what is going to open up into your life is fertility pers persistence and awakening I think that you taking that moment and not you having to figure things out and force a solution and force things to happen is actually going to help open the door for you to understand things you didn't even know so that that persistence that you have so that that energy that fire that is that you have is actually directed in a way that is going to create a fertile environment and a future for you this is so air signs and so fire signs but more emphasis on my air signs I feel like you guys can be so impulsive sometimes and as an earth sign raised by an air sign <laughs> um, my mom is an Aquarius as an earth sign I watch as you know my air energy can be a little impulsive and as an earth sign I always want to be like okay let's ground ourselves I know it's not easy but you need to do it you need to do it and even if you are an earth sign sometimes our patients wear thin or let's say you're a water sign your patients wear thin or whatever it is that your sun or rising sign is sometimes you just want to be like I'm done but if that's truly the case have spirit be around you and protect you before you just take this leap out and that's going to help you to um, again channel that passion that you have for good to make it constructive and then I'm actually seeing fertile growth um, an aha moment awakening this eye-opening experiences and it's just like okay this is where I need to go this is where I need to be this is what's growing in my life I'm really seeing this emphasis on this isn't happening this isn't manifesting this isn't going to work my intention my dream my vision this whatever is not going to seed in reality it, it actually is so before you abandon hope again sleep on it breathe give it to God give it to the divine give it to spirit to work things out and to protect you and to manifest because you have done everything in your power I feel like you have done everything in your power you have probably almost exhausted yourself doing everything in your power but some things are not for you to do alone and it's time for spirit to take control and this is that chance for you once you do that once you let go of you know you've exhausted all of your resources you've exhausted all of your potential all the things that you can do 
and you breathe, you sleep, you ask spirit to do it, that's when it's going to happen. Literally like that. Okay, so for my number threes, the cards that I'm getting for you, uh, the things that it is that you need to release are, okay, page of wands, knight of wands, mm, two of swords, protection and boundaries, vegetarian and vegan, restriction, focus, we have meditate, and we have share breath. Now, outside of the obvious, I'm do, I do see, for some of you guys, actually switching over to a vegetarian and vegan diet. I think that you're being a little bit more mindful as, as far as what it is that you are putting into your body and the energy that it is that it brings. And for some people that means actually dietary changes. So I'm seeing you kind of releasing maybe, you know, a vegetarian diet and a vegan diet and probably taking on meat again and that you might need a little confirmation for that. Others might be moving away from meat and moving into a more vegetarian diet. This is why I'm seeing this card of restriction is because it's you figuring out, okay, this is not serving my energy, this doesn't serve me in the way that it was, so now I have to kind of refocus my diet into a different direction. That was very obvious, that was a very obvious message and that can apply for some of you, maybe a lot of you, but the more, the more than that, what my soul and spirit is getting is that from this vegetarian and vegan diet, I see this as you being very care, you being very, intentional about who and what is in you <laughs> like on some real shit because um knight of wands and page of wands is very you know sexual very passionate so it could actually be you know um you know that type of connection but more than that it's being very intentional about what is entering into your life what is entering into your space what is entering into your vibration your aura because I, I really am seeing a need for you to put down some boundaries and to restrict who is allowed to have your have your space because this um, vegetarian and vegan diet it sh it reminds me of someone who says okay there's a reason why I'm gonna cut this out there's a reason why I'm not gonna consume this anymore there's a reason why this can't be a part of my body and this can't be a part of my existence and my energy because fill in the blank, you know what I mean? And that's essentially what I'm seeing here is that with the page of wands and the pay and the knight of wands, this energy is very impulsive. And this is what it is that it, um, the cards are suggesting that it is that you put a barrier and that you remove out of your life and that you release out of your life. People who come in and go out and blow in like the wind and blow, you know, leave the next day or whatever, they're, they're not committed, they're, they're, more ideas those ideas come in and they fizzle out like their energy is so unpredictable it's a lot it's a lot you know going on, going in and going on and i think that you definitely need to be more protective of yourself because this energy is exciting but its purpose is draining you it's not you know this is why this two of swords is here because it's really asking you to and and the thing is is that I actually see, to be honest with you, I actually see the, this page of wands. I feel like you're gravitating towards page of wands energy right now because emotionally you're just so like emotionally guarded. Like you're not ready. It's not even that you're not ready. You're too afraid to face your emotions. That's where this restriction is coming from. You can't even look at it. You can't even look at your feelings. You can't even open yourself up right now. So you're just like, well, this will do. This makes me happy. This satisfies me. I'm going to keep running. I'm going to keep going here. I'm going to keep filling my time up with all of these things and all of this stuff because it's exciting and I can make it look good on my Instagram or people they're distracted by all this noise that they won't see the real me. And that's what I'm seeing is that, you know what, when you do that, you're actually blocking your own growth. You're actually blocking your focus. You're, you're blocking the universe from focusing on you, your heart's desires, the things that it wants to give you. And you're restricting yourself by being so move, like you're moving all the time. There's a lot of energy around you or there's something or someone around you that is just either they're guarded and they're not trying to deal with their emotion but if that's the case that has nothing to do with you that is that is restricting you that is blocking you you need to be very 
mindful about the energy that is around you and choose to do better for yourself that could be all areas of your life this and even as i'm saying this i am feeling this energy of like this message of wanting to tell you like I want you to prioritize you like it's not just one area of your life that needs to change it's multiple areas of your life I feel like other the uh, other cards it's like okay well we're focusing on this and we're focusing on this for you it's like this total revelation that needs to happen and I see you being very careful and more mindful about again like this is the card of boundaries and protection but it's also the armadillo and the armadillo has that armor around it in order to protect itself that soft little core and it's like at the end of the day it's like you're just as soft and vulnerable as anybody else but you having this hard case around you you're not fooling anybody you're not fooling me i read your cards so i know what's going on and i just think that right now you know you've you've just totally i don't want to be rude or anything like that but that's the vibe that it is and i'm getting it's like a person who you're not fooling me like you're not fooling me like there's a vulnerable soft core within you and you actually do more harm by pretending like that 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 isn't there when in reality that is you to your core and i think that right now it's not even so much as you know sharing a breath right now and meditating um and you probably pulled this card in my last pick a card reading but this infinite sign at the top always draws my attention and it's just essentially like i see this as it's it's interesting because even meditation we see this as a good thing but sometimes i feel like meditation in this in this instance because i'm working with my intuition i'm working with images and what my intuition is telling me always it's almost like a way not that i'm saying that you shouldn't meditate but it's almost like some uh, something that you're doing to calm yourself to calm this fire within you and um pretend like it doesn't exist and that it sometimes again like meditation everybody has this expectation that they're like okay this i'm gonna meditate and i'm gonna have all this peace in my life mm, my god look at me i'm meditating and i have bliss for five minutes but it's like in reality like that could be you coasting over it and you putting plaster over the problem when in reality is you might have to look at the problem you might have to examine it and that's what i'm seeing is that i don't see you doing this alone i actually see you needing to connect with someone or something and breathe just now in this moment we're not going to expect anything more from you and by we i mean spirit i just feel like this is spirit speaking through to me but it's it's almost like spirit is saying we're not expecting anything from you right now we're not expecting you to you know go from being a you know so fearful of being vulnerable and to com being completely vulnerable but we are asking you to be open to connecting with others and being open to sharing or maybe seeing the imprint that is that you're leaving or allowing someone to leave an imprint on you that's for positive and we know that that makes you feel vulnerable but we ask you to do it anyways so i'm really seeing you actually connecting your breath to someone else or something else and to realign with spirit with your soulmate with true love with twin flame with yourself separate yourself from yourself because this boundary that you have or this protection that you have it's i think it's card number one that needs boundaries and then it's card number three that has too much so when you release this walled up energy that might be around you and it could be fear it doesn't always have to be love or the heart it could be your heart's desires or purpose now health and healing is here take charge of the situation and choose peace so again back to health and healing again i'm seeing some of you guys again making some decisions you know as far as how you take care of yourself and your diet and your lifestyle maybe that's going vegetarian or vegan or going back to eating meat it is what it is no one should be attacking anybody on my youtube channel in my comment as far as i eat meat i eat i'm vegan i'm vegetarian i'm this like no one cares follow your path follow your intuition do what is right for you but more than that again my lovies i'm seeing you really finding your peace and your peace is not something that you can run away from it's something that you have to face that's what it is that you have to gain is your peace of mind, your health of your spiritual self, your emotional self, your mental self, your physical self, not by running away from it, but by facing it, by seeing it, 
that's why I'm seeing take charge of the situation because it's you facing the inevitable. It's you looking at what has happened here and what is going to happen. The other thing that's really standing out to me is these the color green here. These two green cards and then the blue. And green, for those of you guys that know, it's connected to the heart chakra. And blue is a pouring, an outpouring of emotion and also the crown chakra. So when you allow your heart to be open and allow your heart to be vulnerable and you face your heart's desires and the things that is that you want for your own healing, for your own benefit and your own well good, you actually connect to the divine. The protection of the divine, the protection of the divine comes in its perfect form, not in a way that is you protecting yourself and guarding yourself in the way that blocks you from the heart unfolding and the, and the heart growing and blooming and prospering. If you wall your heart off in your own like, you know, in a way that the, the boundaries and the protection is unhealthy, you disconnect yourself from the divine because the divine is love. And your peace again is going to come not from you filling your space up with these type of people and these types of things. Are you even having that energy yourself? But by facing it, use this energy to face what it is that's bothering you, what's plaguing you, instead of you walling yourself up. Your heart needs to flow out right now. It really does. There's a lot of things that you need to say. There's a lot of things that you need to do. And what is that that you gain by letting go is your actual peace of mind and your health of mind, body, soul, spirit. Because right now, I don't entirely see a healthy situation from this person. I really don't. And I really don't want you guys having this around you right now. Sometimes this is, again, a person who's just like, I'm going to travel here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do these things. It's like... You really need to take a breath. You need to take a breath really quickly and 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 focus again. And the other thing too is I want you to see this. I don't want to say that you're off your path. Let me see if I could focus it on. Let me see if I could focus the focus card. <laughs> okay. I don't want to say that you're off your path, but I want you to focus on the path. Where is it that you're going? Like I I don't know if you need to like connect with this and meditate on this. But where is your path taking you right now? I'm sending you all of my love. My group number threes. I have empathy for your situation. I have empathy for your for your current circumstances. Because I know that it's not easy. I know it's not. Okay. So that's what it is that I'm getting for my pick of cards. Readings. I hope that that makes sense for you guys. I'm sending you all of my love. Of course, and if you have any suggestions or pick a card pulls that you would like me to do or subjects that you want me to focus on or specific questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comments. Make sure that you're following me on Instagram because I give a lot on my Instagram every day. I have a personal Instagram and I have a business Instagram. My personal is Jessica X Alexandria, so you could see my day-to-day -to -day life for those of you guys that ask about it. And my business one is Bahati Life. And by business, I just mean, you know, it's my purpose, my work, my life work is Bahati Life. And I'm constantly adding content to that because I'm constantly receiving messages because this is what I do, this is my life. But in the meantime, you guys, um, I hope that these readings resonated and that they healed you in some way. I hope that I'm setting the intention that, you know, these blockages and these things that you are being guided to release right now, that it be, you know, that you be protected and that you be have support by people around you and more than that by spirit and then also that you have your own support that you are there for you as well i am also setting the intention that the blessings that are coming into your life that they be effortless and, and wonderful and so worth it and they will be worth it but i want you to be able to see it i'm setting the intention that you're able to see it and that you're able to get excited for it that your excitement for what's to come is more than what it is that you're leaving behind. And what is that you're saying goodbye to? And the other thing too is that anything that you say goodbye to is never really truly a goodbye. It's just coming around in another form in another life in another way. And by another life, I mean like in a moment. <laughs> Literally, it'll come and manifest again in a moment. Okay, that being said, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.